Today I'm going to go over how to use a multimeter or a voltmeter and test an outlet in your house. In the United States, our houses are wired for AC voltage at 60 Hz. What that means is AC voltage is alternating current. The 60 Hz is how many times a second that it alternates. So when the electricity comes into your house, it's actually moving back and forth on that line as it comes in rapidly, 60 times a second. And that's where I guess the term alternating. I will get to another video where I discuss the differences between alternating and DC direct uh, current. But for now, just so you understand what you're working with in a house, on an outlet, it's going to be 120 volts at 60 hertz. So what happens when you use your meter, your meter will either say uh, volts, a big V with like a little AC after it. It may have a V with a squiggly line. That's the one you want. If you see it have a V with a DC direct current, we don't want that. We're testing in a house. If we see it um, just say V with like a dot, 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 that is direct current. You don't want to select that. You want to select the V AC or the volts AC setting or the volt with a squiggly line. That's what we're after. So once we do that, and we know that we're going to work on an outlet, outlets are wired at 120 volts. Um, so we're, we want to make sure our meter is set for that. Some meters will have a lower setting, some what they call auto ranging, where it doesn't matter. Those are usually the nicer ones. If you've got one of those, that's, that works fine as well. Um, mine actually has three settings. It has a millivolts setting for me. It has a 200 volt setting, and it has a 750 volt setting. The 750 volts would be for if I'm working on the line stuff coming in the house or if I'm working on a dryer outlet or a stove outlet. Um, those are the ones that typically are at 240. I would bump up to that. For, but for an outlet in the house, I would put it at my 200 volt setting. Now, um, it's going to zero out, and you may see it move back and forth, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Don't worry about that. That's just It's just getting um, readings into the... Uh, tester and what I've done here I'm going to show you guys something this is your typical outlet your 120 volt outlet in your house and it's got three holes in it uh, larger one smaller one and then the little uh, horseshoe shaped or uh, round one what these are uh, what they're referenced and this is the textbook version this the larger one is your neutral or your common wire the smaller one is your hot or your line wire and your or your power wire your little round one is your ground uh, some outlets just have it like this where you have the two of them and that would be your hot and your your hot and your commons um, they added the ground I'm not sure when they did that I think it was in the 50s or 60s I'll have to look that up but uh, they added that as a safety that gives it it's a gives the electricity it's an added path to ground in case there was a malfunction in the equipment that you were using that it would have an easy way to go back as opposed to going through your body and electrocuting you and I'll go into this in more detail in another video explaining electricity for what we're doing now I just want to kind of give you guys the basics and let you understand what it is that you're working with um, and so you understand what you're testing that's why I pulled one of these outlets I got this off of a job I was doing um, I wanted you to see what the outlet looks like because what you see is this right here. You basically see that. And what I want you to see is this and what's behind it. So you understand what it is you're sticking your meter into before you go and blow yourself up. So on an outlet, they wire them. One side will have gold screws. And the other side will have silver screws. And they do that. If the electrician is doing what he's supposed to do, or the DIYer guy is doing what he's supposed to do, your common wire or your white wire would go to the silver side. Your hot wire, your line wire, your black wire, red wire, whatever you've got going on, would go to the gold side. What that does is that puts the hot on the small one, the common on the large one, and then right here is where they would wire the ground into and the whole body of this thing anywhere these right here are tied into this and it flows back to both of those gives you your ground that's that added safety 
So what we're going to do, when you do your meter, you have two ways of testing it. You can put one lead in this side and one in this side, reading from the hot to the common, and that will give you a reading. The other thing you could do is you could put one in the ground and test to the hot, and then one on the ground and test to the common. What that would do is that would show you how whether it was wired correctly, because if you pulled 120 volts on this side to the ground and nothing on this side to the ground, then somebody swapped the wires behind it, and that can lead to uh, it, it can lead to a bad situation. And again, look at my videos. I'm going to throw one up on. Um, on a more detailed electricity and I'm going to cover some of these things so I just I don't want to get too much into that right now I just want to keep this as basic as I can so what I've got here so you can see this in practice I've got my meter I've turned it on and I've got this power strip here energized so we've got our large plug our small plug and our little ground Okay, this is the part where we do the talking hands. So we've got my meter right here, and I've got my outlet right here that I want to test. I've got a red lead and a black lead. Your black lead should be going to your common on your meter, your red lead to your volt side on your meter. An alternating current, if you invert them, you're going to be okay. Um, if you're going across these two, it's going to read it either way. But it's a good practice to always keep to your standards, keep your powers to your power, keep your common to your common, and that way things don't go wrong. So what we've got here, we've got my, and I'm going to peel this thing, this weather stripping here, this is an outdoor power strip. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my common side into the ground, and I'm going to take my power lead here and touch my power here. And you see it jump up. So we've got 120 volts showing. It's fluctuating a little bit. And this meter is a nice one. It gives me a volt warning, which I like. Now, if I go across the two and I put my common into my common side and I put my power into my power side, let me contact, it again reads that way. Now, I'm being careful if you see, my leads are not coming close to each other. What I, like I said, I've been hearing about people are saying, they were doing this and they saw a big spark. What happened was when they were testing, the current is coming up this stick right here in this metal part and they're probably moving around and doing and as soon as it gets like that, boom, you've got a short. It's going to blow up in your face. What will happen is if your house is wired properly, it'll trip the breaker and that's why you had a spark and then things went dead. Or if it was on a GFI outlet like this, it might have sensed the loss and it might have tripped it that way. If it sensed any kind of a loss to ground, if you had something where maybe your finger got in the way here and suddenly the power was flowing into your hand, that would have tripped the GFI. So that's just something that I wanted to call attention to. It's really simple to test the voltage. It's something that I think anybody can do. You just want to be respectful of electricity and understand what it is that you're doing and that way you'll be safe and you'll get the result that you wanted so again you can test from the ground to whichever side it was if this was wired wrong you would find it by testing from here to there now they they do make test equipment out there they're probably about uh, five or six bucks they sell little testers that you can plug right in or a three-prong tester and I will demonstrate that in another video as well and it actually has some lights on it and it shows you um, whether it's wired correctly or not so you know because it's an important thing that your outlets are wired correctly if they're not it can lead to some uh, not so safe situations so just wanted you guys to be aware of that and that's how you use a meter to test your outlet in your house and that also this way you understand how an outlet works and that way you um, understand what it is that you're testing. Thanks for your time, guys. Take care.